All right, so welcome back, guys. Um, I've been pretty under the weather the last couple of days. Uh, my symptoms have been pretty rough, but uh, I wanted to jump on here quickly to go over this study because, you know, I feel it's pretty important to get this information out there. Um, it's going to be a study um, showing the degradative effect of natokinase on the spike protein. All right. Um, so, you know, basically the link to this study will be in the description. They go over, you know, what the process was. They show the results of the degradation of the spike protein uh, using natokinase. Um, but the quick thing that I wanted to go over really quickly here is going to be the conclusion. And in the conclusion, they're basically saying, in this study, we uh, demonstrated that nanokinase, the serum protease, uh, degrades the S protein of the SARS-CoV-2 to investigate whether nanokinase contained a nano extract could inhibit uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection. We analyzed the S protein degradation by mixing the S protein expression cell lysate and nanokinase in a dose and a time-dependent manner. Uh, the RDB, which is the receptor binding domain, um, that's kind of how the spike protein attaches to the ACE2. Um, so, you know, if you're not kind of up to date on a lot of these theories on what's going on with us, uh, basically the spike protein that was generated uh, through infection or through the vaccination is in circulation. That spike protein is attaching to ACE2 receptors uh, those ACE2 receptors, you know, they're very prominent on endothelial cells. Endothelial cells are in your vasculature. So when the spike protein attaches to the ACE2, the immune system comes and attacks, mistakes your tissue um, as a, a threat as well, and causes vascular inflammation, which could be explaining a lot of our symptoms. So, you know, they're saying here that the nanokinase is you know, basically interrupting uh, the receptor binding domain. And that's how the spike attaches to ACE2. So the RDB of the S protein binds to the membrane distal portion of the ACE2 protein. NATO extract has been reported to inhibit SARS-CoV-2 infection in Vero E6 cells via the receptor binding domain degradation. We demonstrate that S protein degradation by nanokinase was blocked by heat or protein inhibitor treatments. Now, you know, maybe you guys can comment in the, in the, in the, in the comments and let me know because I'm a little confused on some parts of this study. Um, it seems like they, they infused it with some kind of protease uh, inhibitor. Um, so I'm not sure if taking the supplement on its own uh, would have the same effect or if they, you know, beefed it up in the lab a little bit for this study. So, you know, if, if, if you know or if you've read any, any information on that, you know, let us know. Let me know uh, in the comments below. Um, okay, so going further, uh, our data suggests that the protease activity of nanokinase plays a crucial role in the S-protein degradation. Taking together, these findings support the notion that the inhibition of the SARS-CoV-2 infection by nano extract was due to the S-protein degradation by nanokinase. That's, that's awesome. Uh, thus, our data indicated that nanokinase and nano extracts have potential effects of inhibition of the SARS-CoV-2 host cell entry via the S protein degradation. So, you know, basically what they're saying is this study is based on trying to stop COVID um, by degrading the spike protein that's on uh, SARS-CoV-2 itself. And that way, it stops it from um, inserting itself into your cells and making you sick. Um, but if we have S protein, either S1 or S2, circulating, um, you know, will nanokinase basically mop up that spike and clear the spike as well? That's the question, right? Um, I've read some people that have tried this and have had pretty good effects. Uh, I think I'm going to be adding this to my arsenal for sure. Um, what's really important to me is that it's uh, anticoagulation properties as well. Uh, it's used to break up blood clots and fibrin. Um, so, you know, it's a really good thing to add to uh, our, arsenal, our arsenal to try to, you know, get rid of this spike. Um, 
again, you know, I want to stress that, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm literally just someone going through this and, and experimenting with my own body. You know, please do not take this as medical advice. If you're going to introduce or extract any kind of medications that are that you're currently on, please, please, please talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctor about considering natokinase. Talk to your doctor about any changes that you make. Do not listen to people on YouTube. All right. So I just want to thank you guys for being here. I hope this information helps. If you've ever taken natokinase or have read more information about it, let us know. You know, help us out uh, to figure out, you know, what helps, what doesn't. Um, so let us know in the comments below. And uh, that'll, that'll wrap it up. Uh, we'll see you guys soon.